Salutations everyone, my name is Food Cat, and welcome to Heritage. So this is the second horror game I have ever played in my life. First one was Slenderman and then this came in, so this is a pretty old game. It came around the time that Slenderman was released, so we'll see if this is just as blood curdling as it was back in the day. So let's hit play. Why is that we always yearn childhood memories when we lost someone? Why those memories become painful nightmares when we lost someone. That is how I'm feeling. Yearning those beautiful moments lived in her house. A woman so wise. Wisdom that is only kept in my memory after she passed away three days ago. It's time to abandon those confusing thoughts and return to that place. Her house. So full of memories and knowledge. Questions. Perhaps I will finally find inner peace. Well, you can see based off of this image that she is feeling funereal. So we'll go ahead and start now. It's so high quality now. When I played this back in the day, my computer could not handle this. Alright. A note from my grandma. I should read it. Yes, you should. I copied the text in my notebook. This is very strange. That sounds very unnatural, but okay. I like that she said it's very strange, too. Alright. Beloved granddaughter, as you are reading this note, I'm dead by now. Please don't be sad and pay attention to what is written in this note. I had discovered something beyond imagination, indescribable to your senses and your world. I left my will with end notes and puzzles that will help you understand. Search the clock for a key. What if a burglar came in here? It sounds like Grandma doesn't have many friends if she wrote this specifically for Granddaughter here. Uh, I wish Granddaughter had a name though. An old one clock seems to be broken. I'm just here to get the key. So, this place is like an utter ghost town. Look at this. I think I'm more fret about this than I am with having to be here and being sorrowful about Grandma. Alright, there should be a flashlight in here. I already know one of the codes for the first puzzles. This one has stuck in my head since the first time I did a playthrough. I can't believe I did this. SpongeBob gets his you-know-what up his hole and he does it twice. I, I said something like that. Something extremely ludicrous. Yeah. I still remember that. It's gonna be stuck in my head for like eternity. <laughs> but yeah, there is a book that tells you the code for that, so that's not necessary anymore. Go ahead and cut this. Okay, I don't remember this one, so we'll come back for it. We could go over here and check the photo frame of her. Grandma has a 48th anniversary with what? The building? <laughs> this seems uh, very unjustifiable. She looks very anorexic too. That might explain why her fridge was empty the first time I came in. Is there food now? No, there isn't food. That just slammed up way fast. Okay. So. I think there should be a jewelry box right here, and we can use that with the key. And it's right here. And that gives you a note. Hey, I at least still remember all this. Look at the clock. I will tell you the row number from below to above in minutes. What book to read from left to right? Remember, on the shelf to the right in the first floor, someone is calling me on my phone. Alright, I believe this is the book that Grandma's talking about. This appears to be the correct book. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll read up on it. Even though, I think this is connected to the first puzzle that we already succeeded on. So, just having to read this isn't really relevant. But I'm sure people are concerned, so we'll do it anyway. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow, then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Lastly, we can imagine the shadow of a 4D object, 5D counting time as a dimension, being A, the rest of the text is struck, and in a margin a question mark is drawn. So you have to figure out the last one on your own, which, I mean, it's not really that complicating. So we we'll just exit out on that and continue our journey. Don't think there's anything useful in here. Let's see if there's an Easter egg. Nope, no Easter egg. We'll go ahead and get the laptop battery, which is right down here. 
Just gotta check this out for a second. Look at all the exotic clothes that Grandma used to wear. And she has like two pairs of shoes. Or slippers, if you will. And boots. Well, oh, Grandma is not wasting time with that wealth. Uh, we'll break this open. Not the most logical way to break bricks, but okay. Dimension link. In the fifth dimension, time is perceived the way that is the fourth dimension. That discards the possibility of entities can be reflected in the future, but it is right to think that they can see our past as reflections. Although there is no way they can enter in them, just in our present. Also, there is no doubt they could see through objects, or in other words, they can see each side from an object without even rotating it. The only thing they need to come is concentrate energy so they can visualize a point in space-time and reflect themselves. Obviously, the entity must be a close distance to perceive. The energy that will be linked is served as link. This will help understand better. So, the boxes are referring to the reflections, and the ball is the energy, obviously. And I don't know why there's... Okay, we'll, we'll see if we can figure this out. This is supposed to be the hardest puzzle. Alright, so the energy's trying to go inside that one object. I wish I would know what to call it. So yeah, these square things that you can see right now... Oh my gosh. Like, the interactions with this thing is terrible. Yeah, the boxes that are lined up like this right now. I think that's a reflection. And we gotta get the energy inside, like so. And I think this is right. Like, the reflection's kinda like nested with the energy, so... I, I hope this is right. Oh, it is. Oh, cool. We got it. I didn't have to look up a YouTube video this time like I did last time. Uh, shows that my mindset has improved. Ameliorated. All this stuff, maybe there's something useful here. Batteries, I remember this. Okay. And this projector. This is for... The, the little cellar that we were trying to open before, but we couldn't. Okay, so... Ah, ha, ha, I see it now. I think they give you a note for this as well. I mean, hence I don't really need to read it, because we already figured this out. So, one, two, three... It says four on the bottom, but your fourth one's actually the one at the very top. And then the last one's on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and do it. We have no time to waste here. Not gonna read any of that. <sighs> okay. So do we have any batteries for a flashlight? Yes, we do. It's funny because we were just talking about it earlier. My short-term memory just kicked in just now. Darn. I was hoping I can just land on the railing and just slide off. Okay, so... This is how it goes. You probably can't see it on my mouse, but maybe you can see the buttons move. I'll probably just like write it in on like subtitles or whatever. So we got it. Not that complicating. All right, in this part, I don't know why you're stuck here. That was a skeleton. It was actually a pretty good scare for its time, though. Um, experiment phase, weight loss when brain died, energy sensors activated instantly after brain's death, energy disappeared in exactly 666 milliseconds, energy measurement, 66.6 kilowatts. I don't know why it took me a while to read that. I think I just need water. You know what, I'll go ahead and get water. I freaking hate when my throat just like clogs up. Alright, we're good to go. Now, we'll go ahead and put the laptop battery into a laptop. Wherever that is, right here. Two digits, last anniversary together. Two digits, iron number, fee. Okay, what was fee again? Oh, it has it circled. That's convenient. 
So it's 26. So 48, 26. We'll go ahead and punch that in. 26. Oh, it's try. I don't know why there's a check mark there. It's clear now. Comparing the results from the university laboratory, there's no doubt. I have proof. I sent the video and the audio file. I hope to receive an answer soon. I have made contact with my husband entity, oh, or part of him. I actually have discovered the fifth dimension and solved lots of questions. Ghosts? Nah. It's just a reflection or part of an entire entity. Of course, I still need to do some sort of research. As for now, I am not able to understand entity difficulty to pass through our dimension. I could measure the energy produced when he died, and I could prove how that energy disappears. Into the next dimension, all these years sacrifice. Finally, I could talk to him again, see him, feel him. The ultimate question is solved. Life after death? Affirmative. Hmm. So it sounds like she self ameliorated. I don't think she died of old age. You know what? Maybe she died of hunger. Is that a ghost? I missed it. <laughs> okay, um. I think at this time I could get the steel ball. Oh. That happened early. Uh, use flashlight. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got the second steel ball. And if I can recall, the third steel ball just randomly pops there. I think it's because we got that scare. So we should be off and ready to go to end this game. Right down here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Wow, we've been doing a good job with this game. I expected really difficult puzzles out of this. Alright. Now we have to solve this thing. I'm not really sure how I did it last time. We just solved it, okay? It makes no sense, but... Eh. Whatever flows with me. Uh, let's open it, please. So we got an old key, which could open up this metal drawer. Heritage. Some kind of legacy? Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and be behind Grandma. I know she's gonna be an apparition and try to spook me here. Even though they're talking about not being apparitions. Now you know what I found. The link between our dimension and theirs is our mind. All notes and puzzles surely helped you understand, and now you are ready. This is the legacy I left for you. This is your opportunity to elevate to another level. As your grandfather did to me, I'll do to you. Look behind you. Well, Grandma, I think you need to look behind you. I'm gonna reverse the apparition to a human. I just, what I love about these horror games like back in the day is that all the enemies are just completely oblivious. I know it kind of purges the dread that comes out of this, but, y you know, I just need my giggles. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough of Heritage. Here are the credits of everyone that worked on this game. Doesn't seem like a lot, so I don't know why the typeface is like so small. Maybe because this is meant to be like in a lower resolution. But since I have like a higher end computer, it's not going to be that case. Uh, but special thanks to me, thanks. See, I've been easter egged once in this game. I mean, I could mod this too, it's a Unity game. Even to this day, it doesn't seem very mournful. You're just like reading it up. I think they should add some cutscenes to make it more cathartic. Because, I don't know, just reading it up the way it is now bad grammar and all that. Eh, it just seems like a foo for all, but you know, maybe not for the granddaughter. The puzzles were decently difficult though. I wish we had more of these sort of puzzles in recent horror games, but most horror games kind of rely on those cheap jump scares that we don't like. So it was nice to happen to revisit this. So my battery's about to die, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, kitty saviors.